Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back in with another video for Red Devil Studio. Many thanks to continued support. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Smash that notification button to get the latest videos. So, guys, Chris Smalling, Roma, it's gonna happen. It's coming from Fabrizio Romano, the same guy who broke Alexis Sanchez, was joining Inter Milan, and lo and behold, Alexis Sanchez has joined Inter Milan. So, Fabrizio Romano is very, very reliable, credible, um, a transfer specialist on Twitter and basically the deal has been agreed that this is specifically a loan deal it's a loan deal a year-long loan deal without the option to buy the player and Chris Morning has accepted it so it's Chris Morning from Man United to AS Roma on a loan deal Fabrizio Romano the Sky Tally journalist this is coming from Sky Sports um, is saying that Chris Morning is basically going to be going to Italy um, on a year-long loan deal from Manchester United to Roma. Um, wow. Um, simple loan is about three million. Um, you know, uh, to Manchester United, it's a simple loan deal. Nothing more than that. Um, it benefits Roma in a sense that it shows up their defence as well. And I guess you could argue benefits Manchester United in the sense that we have obviously um, we don't have as many defenders. Um, what is my opinion on this? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I've never thought... I know there's a lot of Manchester United fans that are going to be happy about Chris Smalling leaving. Um, you know, he's part of the Deadwood FC, etc, etc. But to be honest, I never really had... I don't think Chris Smalling is as bad a defender as people make him out. I think the issue with Chris Smalling is that, like a lot of defenders, he needs someone better next to him. If he's, he's playing with a good defender, then he's not so bad. He was a good... Um, a, you know, third choice defender to come in for somebody or to play with someone that's really good. So my question then comes into if Chris Smalling is now going on loan to Roma, what does that leave us in a centre back situation? Okay, we have Lindelof and Maguire. They're going to be a centre back pairing. Fair enough going forward. If one of those is injured, or for example, we need to play back three, maybe. Um, then you're thinking of, okay, are you going to bring in Twan CB? So does that mean that Twan CB is now going to, because he's at the squad, is he going to get a push, a push up? He has been on the bench, to be fair, as the backup centre back. So I imagine our third choice centre back is Axel Twan CB. Um, because then fourth and fifth, you have Eric Bailly, who's injured, out injured, is always injury prone, and most likely, to be honest, probably going to leave at the end of the season because he just can't stay fit. And Banter Jones. Um, so. The hope, for me, as much as I think it's a bit strange that Chris Smalling, out of all defenders, if they take in Jones, fair enough, but a bit strange that out of all defenders Chris Smalling is going. Um, if it means that Axel Twansib is going to come in, um, then, you know, give him a shot. Hopefully he will he will be as good, if not better, than, than, than Chris Smalling as a good backup for a choice, or even maybe better second or first if he can compete with the other two, because I think competition is healthy. I think, yes, you should stay with the same starting eleven, but sometimes good competition for spots, giving people opportunities is, is healthy. And I think that's something, especially with the Carabao Cup and the like being on their way, it'd be a good idea to get some of these players in into the squad, like your Gomez's, like your Garners, like your Chong's, like your Twin Cbs, to really compete for spots in that team that, to be honest, is not that strong right now. Um, so, yeah. A bit of a breaking news here. Um, it, it came out of the blue, to be honest. It's it's really come out of the blue. I didn't expect it. Um, it just seems that a lot of our players are just going to Italy. You know, uh, Inter obviously bought Sanchez. They've uh, sorry, Inter bought uh, uh, Lukaku. They've got um, um, Alexi Sanchez on loan, and now Roma decided, you know, get Chris Smalling. So it seems that well, Italy Italian clubs are just going to Manchester. But yeah, we'll take that player. We'll take that player. We'll take that player. Once again. You know, we don't have a replacement. And now, the difference, I think, with the defender situation is that we have enough defenders. So, getting a defender on loan or selling a defender, I don't think was a problem. When it comes to forwards and midfields, that's where we're short. So, there we go. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Once again, to summarize, Chris Smalling, Chris Smalling, loan deal agreement, according to Fabrizio Romano on Twitter, and most media outlets now covering Chris Smalling is going to Roma in a season long loan deal. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter. We are United X. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.